God bless you and welcome to our Wednesday night Bible study. This is Greater Destiny Ministries live stream with Bishop Jonathan Edward Locus Sr. We're glad to have you tonight. Pray that something will be said tonight to help you get through the middle of the week. Call it hump day. Bless us and encourage our hearts and keep us moving forward. And as we do always before we start our service, we start with a word of prayer. Dear Father God, we come before you tonight, Lord, thanking you for your many, many blessings, your love and kindness and your tender mercy. We thank you, God, for making ways, opening doors, and working miracles. You are a prayer answering God. Look down on us today. Strengthen our will and our desire to please you. Give us victory over everything that's not like you. And by an adversary that will seek to come against us. And we pray tonight, Lord, that you let your blood cover and command the enemy to lose his hope right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And in this time of pandemic and coronavirus, we pray for healing and deliverance. And Lord, we pray for our country with the unrest and the racism that is prevalent in the land today. We bind it in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you for what you're doing and what you're going to do. We ask that you bless us, keep us, and make us what you would have us to be. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We thank you tonight. And we are getting ready to go into the Word of God, the book of Exodus, chapter number 32. Familiar passage of Scripture here. And we're going to start reading at verse number 26. Then Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. And he said unto them, Thus said the Lord God of Israel, Put every man his sword by his side and go in and out from gate to gate throughout the camp. Slay every man his brother, every man his companion, every man his neighbor. And the children of Levi did according to the word of Moses, and there fell of the people that day about 3,000 men. For Moses had said, Consecrate yourselves today to the Lord, even every man upon his son and upon his brother, that he may bestow upon you a blessing this day. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of the word, his word. And we want to look at that 26th verse where Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? And I think that's a that's a good that's a good message tonight. Who is on the Lord's side? We're going to have to make a decision. I know many Christians and many churchgoers say, Well, I know I'm on the Lord's side. But you got to realize that these people that he's talking about, these people that got killed, were Israelites. These were God's chosen people that had turned to idolatry. Uh, Moses was in the mountain communicating with God and while he was up in the mountain the people got together and along with Aaron and said we want a golden calf this is the God that brought us out of Egypt isn't that terrible if you look um, if you look in that 32nd chapter and if you kind of study this since this is a Bible study uh, look at the beginning of that chapter and let's kind of let's kind of recognize what's going on here we can kind of see what what is happening if you look at that 32nd it's, it, it's 32nd verse verse 32nd chapter verse number one said, when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron 
and said unto him, Up, make us gods, which shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we want not what is become of him. And so they said, we want you to make us an idol god. And so what Aaron did, he got them to bring, bring all their gold and their earrings. And then he received it. And verse number four said, um, and he received them at their hand and fastened it with a graving tool after he had made it a molten calf. And they said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of